One of the simplest jobs that a mobile tire guy has is to just get to a site and air up a tire like this one. A big tire that they know that I can't do it. They need a boom truck, but all they need is for me to just air it up and get it out. We're doing this for them for a favor, but sometimes people will actually pay for it because all they need to do is get it out of this huge parking lot here. They don't want it. It's for snow removal. So that's basically one of the best calls. So I'm just going to hop in my truck here and, uh, Yep, that's the best. That's the best part. Craziest part about doing tires mobily is you basically have to do the tire where it sits sometimes because there's no way this thing's moving. Sometimes they come to pick up the, gener the generator and they can't, so they call us. And it's probably it's sometimes in the worst spots ever. Like this one is kind of tucked in a corner here. I'm gonna put my jack on here. As long as it spins all the way around, we're good. So sometimes it's like broken telephone with uh, the people that are on site and the people that are taking the calls or giving us the calls. So the tire had a hole in the sidewall, but nobody told us anything. Drive an hour and a half out of Toronto, and back in. Yeah, definitely gonna need a blast there. The thing about being a mobile tire guy is the all the tools that you take out you have to put back before you go to the next call and uh sometimes you got to use what's around you for leverage so i'm going to use this rebar real quick to put the tire on this is actually probably the uh, exact thing that went through the tire to begin with so let's just put that somewhere far away so they don't hit it again so i call these uh, small tires tailgate tires because i don't gotta bend over to put them on and I can do them right on my tailgate. When you're fixing a tire that you don't have to bend over to fix, that's definitely when the tire gods are blessing you. Today, tire gods definitely blessed me. Except unless they're like smaller skids to your tires, then uh, good luck with that. Because those ones need like full force. These ones are pretty chill. Just gotta make sure I don't hit myself in the face with the bar. Now another thing about being fully mobile is the fact that you have to maintain your tools because it gets a lot more worn out because of the elements, you're in the elements and all that kind of stuff. So that is, uh, it just takes more time to care for your equipment. A lot of people, I mean, unless you're working like hourly, you don't really care about your equipment, you'll throw it around. Because it's a small business, you, we have to make sure that we take care of our stuff because we're the ones that are paying for it. You have to work outside in the elements 95% of the time, whether it's scorching hot, it's raining, it's thunderstorming, it's snowing, because most of our job is outside because a lot of these equipment, for me at least, a lot of our equipment is outside on construction sites. So today it's pouring rain, but I got lucky right here. I got a bobcat I got to fix, but my glasses are starting to get drops of water on them. It's just another day.